Blue carbon refers to the atmospheric carbon which is stored in coastal ecosystems such as mangroves, seagrasses and salt marshes. Blue carbon helps to mitigate climate change by sequestering atmospheric carbon dioxide into the plant's biomass and sediments. Blue carbon ecosystems are under threat due to the impacts of climate change, things like rising sea levels, increasing ocean temperatures and uh, more frequent, more extreme storm e events. Higher ocean temperatures can result in heat stress in sea grasses and rising sea levels can affect mangrove systems and salt marshes if they're not able to migrate inland. Elko rock has been successfully used to create coastal reverbants and groins, which help to absorb and deflect some of the energy associated with incoming waves and currents. These structures help to protect beaches and shorelines from erosion, not only by retaining the added sand, but also to prevent the migration of sand. This is really important for beach nourishment. Elka rock can also be used to create offshore breakwaters to protect harbours, marinas and coastal areas from energy of incoming waves. Reducing that wave energy is really important for mangrove systems as it can create a calmer environment for them to grow in. People sometimes underestimate the importance of coastal habitat conservation. Blue carbon uh, ecosystems can be up to four times more uh, efficient than green carbon systems. Green carbon refers to the carbon captured by terrestrial forests, grasslands and soils. While terrestrial forests can store large amounts of carbon, they also can suffer from disturbances such as logging and, and fire, uh, which blue carbon ecosystems don't.